Welcome to PubMatch, your global copyright toolkit. Hi, I'm John Malinowski, president of the Combined Book Exhibit, a 90-year-old company providing book display and marketing services to authors and publishers at major book fairs around the world, and founder of PubMatch, the first fully automated rights platform for the buying, selling, and management of your copyright. Established in 2008, the PubMatch platform allows publishers, agents, independent and self-published authors to connect with publishing professionals around the world. PubMatch enables you to create an impactful, intuitive, and easy to manage online rights presence 24-7, 365 days a year. From our headquarters in New York, we are actively working to assist you to achieve a greater international reach and to bring the future of automated rights management into the present. We are also proud to announce our partnership with Ally, the Alliance of Independent Authors, to offer a special five-year membership to PubMatch for only $100, which allows the author or publisher to include up to 100 titles on the platform, a savings of 80% off the published rates. So what are some of the things PubMatch can do for you? It offers an easy, step-by-step -step process to create rights deals for any language or territory. It will keep track of your rights deals, contracts, and more. It will allow you to create flat rate rights deals with a simple click and buy, or you could enable Make Me an Offer button for any title. PubMatch has a built-in rights contract, or if you prefer, use your own contract. Payments are made through our secure credit card system, or buyers can opt to pay via wire transfer. There's a look inside the book feature so people can read a sampling of your work. You can also create rights catalogs or sell seats in just a few clicks using PubMatch templates. All this will be demonstrated shortly, but first, Ryan Dreher, our Business Development Director, will take you through a basic understanding of the rights process and what elements are needed to create a rights offer. Hello, I'm Ryan Dreher. At PubMatch, part of our mission is to inform authors and publishers of the benefits of foreign rights sales, not only as an evolving and thriving area of the publishing industry, but also as a potential revenue multiplier. Many authors and publishers around the world are finding that selling books in non-US and non-UK markets are a great complement to, and in some cases exceed, their initial domestic book sales. If you invest some time and energy learning about foreign rights and translation rights, you may experience the thrill of seeing your title, or your publishing catalog, reborn in other countries, languages, and in certain cases, in new formats. Our message to users is that this is an exciting time to get involved in the rights business and that PubMatch can serve as an invaluable tool along the way. First, let's clarify what we mean by foreign rights and translation rights. Both foreign rights and translation rights fall under the larger heading of subsidiary rights, or permissions given by the author to a publisher to produce any version of a work beyond the original publication. And these can include audio rights, film, serial rights for placing or excerpting your book in a magazine or periodical, and many other types of rights. Translation rights and foreign rights are often used interchangeably. Translation rights refer to permissions to produce an edition of the book in a language other than the original, whereas foreign rights imply permissions to create a version of the same book in another territory. To illustrate this subtle difference, a book published in the US originally may or may not also be published in the UK and its territories, so the author would have an opportunity in that case to capitalize on book sales in a new territory within the same language community, as well as translation right sales of the book into other languages. We are often asked by authors whether foreign right sales will endanger their copyright, and we want to assure them that they will not. As the author, your copyright is protected. What you are doing, however, is licensing or granting permission on a temporary basis for a specific version of your work to be produced within a certain language or territory, and those rights will revert to you upon completion of the agreement. So why pursue subsidiary rights sales? As it can be hard to find a foreign rights agent, 
Having a basic familiarity with translation rights and an ability to manage foreign rights on one's own, using a service like PubMatch can be a cost-effective, time-saving, and potentially profitable opportunity. In the past, identifying publishing opportunities abroad required the expertise of domestic agents and co-agents in the specific territories and languages of interest, as well as the intervention of publishers and translators. Now, with tools like PubMatch, authors and publishers have never had a better opportunity to make the most of their international potential. With PubMatch, you can connect with licensees all over the world, conduct rights deals, and market your book or catalog on your own. One of the first things you should do when pursuing foreign rights deals in other markets is to ask whether your book is suited to whatever specific market you are targeting. Finding alignment between your book and foreign publishers and agents as well as identifying and tracking local publishing trends requires some research. Although the rules seem to be changing, we recommend adhering to the following general guidelines. Fiction tends to work best overseas if written by a best-selling author. Note, while fiction has traditionally been harder to sell abroad, this is not always the case, and we recommend you research how your particular genre or sub-genre of fiction is performing in your territory or language of interest. Trade topics such as self-help, business, early readers, education, young adult, professional development, psychology, and related topics tend to do well given their universal nature. We recommend that you familiarize yourself with local markets, trends, as well as publishers and co-agents. Now how do you know if you own the subsidiary rights to your book? This depends on whether you are a traditionally published, independent, or hybrid author. If traditionally published, check your agreement under both the Territory Clause as well as the Subsidiary Rights Clause. It's not unusual for publishers to retain subsidiary rights when publishing the original version. This can be an agreeable outcome, as publishers often have the resources and overseas editorial connections to sell, print, and market your book overseas. As a rule of thumb, it's best to retain as many rights as you can, and you may consider pressing your publisher for rights to certain territories, languages, etc., particularly if you feel that you are in a better position than your publisher to procure a deal in those markets. If you're an independent, self-published, or hybrid author, you've likely retained your subsidiary rights. That having been said, it never hurts to verify the tenure and the conditions surrounding the subsidiary rights with whomever or with whichever entity is printing your book. What are the components of a subsidiary rights deal? Typically, they include an upfront advance based on the initial print run, against a set of royalties based on the retail or net price of the book. On PubMatch, you'll also find a flat rate one-time option. Term of the agreement, which normally lasts from one to five years. Also the formats in which you are selling, which include print, ebook, audio, film, and others. And last, the country of the subsidiary rights like France or Germany or territory, like Latin America, or the specific languages in which you are selling, such as the Spanish language rights. How much should I offer my subsidiary rights for? As you'll soon see, determining how best to structure your rights deal is not a standardized process, particularly when considering the cultural and economic diversity of the global publishing scene. Advances will vary from country to country, for example, you may want to ask for higher advances in countries like the US, the UK, Germany, France, and Spain. Whereas in countries like India and China and in the Middle East region, you may see lower advances due to their lower local pricing of books. For common languages like English, Spanish, German, Italian, and others, be sure to specify the countries in which the title can be sold. For example, you don't want to sell world exclusive Spanish rights due to the number of territories that speak Spanish, most of Latin America, Mexico, and Spain. If I don't have an agent, how do I sell my subsidiary rights? While obtaining an agent is always a good idea, there simply aren't enough agents in the world to represent all the publishers, indie and self-published authors publishing today. But PubMatch can help those without agents to offer subsidiary rights using its fully automated rights platform. That includes all the components needed to create rights deals by country, language, or territory, and complete with built-in rights contracts. In the next set of videos, we will show you how to go about this. Once again, we're thrilled to be working with Ally and to be helping its members make the most of their foreign rights journey. 
Please make note of the URL below to take advantage of the special Ally membership rate. And now, John will guide you through the basics of using the PubMatch platform. Now that we've gone through the basics of subsidiary and translation rights, we'll now show you a series of videos on how PubMatch can facilitate your entry into the global rights marketplace. The first thing you'll need to do is to register. You'll go to the Ally PubMatch branded homepage. Be sure to go to the pubmatch.com forward slash ally URL. Click join PubMatch and then select the member classification that best fits you. We'll select authors and up will pop the special rate that we provided to Ally members. Click on the special rate and you'll register providing information for your um, main profile uh, which will go into your dashboard. Uh, select Terms and Conditions, Continue, which will take you to a shopping cart application. You'll pay for the year membership at the special rate, which will then be directed to your personal dashboard. Now that you've successfully registered through the Ally branded PubMatch homepage, I'll take you through your personal dashboard that controls and manages all your content. For simplicity's sake, I'll log into our PubMatch demo page. You want to sign in using your uh, email and password that you provided at registration. It'll take you to your personal dashboard. Here it will list the subject tags that you've indicated uh, about your title or your company, and I'll show you that at a later video. The trade shows you'll be attending and when you upload or provide the titles, uh, they'll show here. On the left side here is where all your content is managed. Profile management, this is the information that you provided initially. If you want more data, you can edit your profile here and I'll go through that at a later video as well. Privacy settings, the same thing. Uh, trade shows I'll be attending, and if there are any other people on your uh, management team, you can add them as well. Title management is where you'll add your titles. New books, if you would like to share your books with anybody, you can do that as easily as just adding their email into the uh, dashboard. Rights catalogs, uh, you can create rights catalogs in just a few clicks. My bookshelf is just titles that you have found on PubMatch that you don't want to forget. It'll just save them in, in this folder. And then creating a rights deal, which we'll show you at a later video as well. Rights at PubMatch is where you'll set up all of your information on billing. And you'll see where the contract is, is uh, placed. You have folders, offers on my book, offers I am making, rights on sale, rights sold, rights purchased, etc. Sometimes you'll use this, sometimes you won't, but it's there for your, for your benefit. That's the main information there. The next set of videos will show you exactly how to update information and content for your main profile, how to add a title, including rights at PubMatch and our contracts in the system, all in future videos. Now that you're in your personal dashboard, the first thing you want to do is update your profile, which is seen on the front end of PubMatch. What you'll want to do is click on Profile Management, My Profile, Edit Profile. You can update uh, a profile image. This can be a picture of you. It could be a, a company logo, whatever you'd like it to be. 
This information was placed in uh, during registration. Just make sure that it's all correct. Save and update. It'll take you to the next screen, the biography screen. These are uh, screens that uh, you should indicate what it is that you're doing on PubMatch. It could be about your company, it could be about your title, uh, anything that you'd like it to be. Uh, what you're looking to do on PubMatch. Example, I'm interested in selling rights overseas. It could be as simple as that. Once you've done that, you want to save and update. This is where you're going to include uh, your subject tags on your company uh, or you as an author, if you're an author. You can, dis you can select five general subject categories and we use the BISAC system, which is used by Amazon and all the major distributors uh, in the US. So I'll just delete one and then uh, what you want to do, it's all menu driven. Let's say it's a history title. It'll ask you for a second level. Uh, let's say it's uh, history and geography. If there's a third level available, it will tell you, but in this case, it says no selection needed or the fourth level. Add that. So that's now in your subject tags. Save and update. Always save an update. Include your social uh, site links here, as many as you have. Save and update. We also recommend that you go into your privacy settings and set these settings uh, to your liking. Here you'll see you have three settings. Invisible to all users, which are mainly used by agents who are using the PubMatch system to manage all of their rights, but don't really want anyone to see what they're selling or, or who they're selling. Visible to anyone means uh, anybody on the internet can see all of your details, contact information, and uh, emails. Visible only to PubMatch members means only PubMatch, PubMatch members can uh, see your contact information. You can also uncheck and check different groups on PubMatch that you don't want them to see. In most cases, visible to anyone is, is fine. Unless you start receiving a lot of uh, spam email, you can then switch it back over to uh, PubMatch members only. Um, contact information, you can turn on and off any information that you've included that will be seen on the front end. So if you don't want your front end email to be shown, you just unclick it. Uh, profile image, anything that you don't want, just uncheck. Save and update, and you're all set to go. In order to offer your rights for sale on PubMatch, you'll need to set up your rights at PubMatch account information. Very simply done, click on Rights at PubMatch, and then Rights at PubMatch Setup. Click here to get started, which will bring you to the contact details. This is the official information that will appear in the actual contract. Could be different from your publisher profile include the primary contact that will appear in the contract as well. No need to upload a profile image again if you've already done that in your registration process. It will be uh, shown by default. Check or uncheck whether you'll accept offers for all your popular language rights, which comes then comes to our contract section. This is the actual contract that we use if you like to see what it looks like and how it reads, you can click on this link and you'll see that this section here is for all the terms that you've included for that particular rights deal. It will automatically embed it, be embedded into the contract. Then comes the actual contract, which is editable, and you can delete or add anything that you want to this. It will include the uh, publisher information and the buyer information that will automatically be embedded as well. If you do not want to use our contract, click this button 
it'll go away and you can copy and paste your own contract into this space. The terms of the, of the deal will continue to be automatically embedded into your contract at the beginning of the contract. Click Next. Click I'm Not a Robot. And it'll take you to the payment processing settings. This is where you'll in include how you want to be paid, either by bank or wire transfer or by check. For bank transfer, we need your bank account details. For check, we need the account holder name, tax ID, and so forth. Once you've done that, you've read the and accept the terms and conditions, click Next, and you've just set up your rights at PubMatch account. updated your profile, the next thing to do is add your title or titles to the system. Click on Title Management, Add New Books, which will bring you to a screen that is blank and the information that you'll pre-fill in with as much information as you possibly have. You can import some of the information from Google by including the ISBN number here click on import info, info and some of the fields will be pre-filled in. It all depends on how much information Google has on, on your title. So you'll want to include as much as you, as, as you can. Include an agent's name. If you have a literary agent, include that, that agent's name and email. Select the language that it was published in. Add a cover image. That could be a JPEG, GIF, or PNG file. We recommend that you upload a PDF file or an EPUB file. This is so that the viewer can view a sampling of the pages to get an idea of, of the style of writing. PubMatch will only show 25% of the file uploaded. For example, if you upload a file that has 100 pages, the first 25 pages of that file will only be shown. You'll then want to select and include all of the, the bindings appropriate for your title, as many as you have. You'll include as many of the uh, categories uh, as we allow, which is five, for that specific title. I'm going to show one of our books for simplicity's sake. Uh, in terms of uh, showing the data in the file. So what I've done here is for the headline of this book, I put Amazon bestseller. It could be anything that you want. Uh, sold a million copies, uh, for example. All of the information we pre-filled in here, these are not real titles. Uh, we've uploaded a cover image. We've uploaded a PDF to show a sampling of the books. We've included three categories, but again, you are allowed five. You want to save and continue. It'll take you to additional info on that particular book. So what you want to do is include the description of what the book is about. As much information as you'd like to put in there. There's no limit to how much you can do. Uh, again, you can share information with uh, the author or with the publisher, anybody you'd like to share it with. Customs fields, custom fields, or any fields that we have not provided that you might want to put in there. Generally, we're providing as many of the, uh, the fields as, as necessary, but it's there for your, your convenience. Indicate what shows that you're going to be at and uh, uh, continue. This tab, author info, this is about the author, obviously. Include a bio about the author. Again, you can share contact details, as I mentioned before. If there are a table of contents in the book, you can include that. Reviews, put as many reviews in as you have. There's no reason why you can't put in as many as you've received. You want to save and continue.
This next set of screens I'm going to do as a separate video, which will be next. Now that you've included all the content for your title, you're now ready to make your title available for rights. We can do this through Title Management, select My Book Titles, up will pop your titles, click on the Edit Icon button. Click on number three, Rights Available, and here is where you'll select the language that you want to uh, offer for rights. Let's select the Spanish language as an example. Add rights. It will take you to a page where you'll include all the terms of the deal for the Spanish language. These are terms that will automatically be embedded into the PubMatch contract. So you have world exclusive and world non-exclusive. If you select world exclusive, the difference here is that if you select world exclusive, the rights buyer will be able to sell your book in all Spanish language countries or territories, including most of Latin America, Spain, Mexico, and possibly even the United States. The buyer would need to be a major publisher and be able to sell the Spanish edition in all of these territories. Let's select World Non-Exclusive as an example. Here you will indicate which countries you are selling the Spanish language rights to. We'll say, we'll, we'll say you're selling to Spain. So you'll put Spain in, in this field. Enable me to make an offer to let users propose a bid for your rights. You can uncheck that if you want to offer flat rate deals with non-negotiated rates or if you want them to uh, be able to make you an offer on the rights that you're offering, you can leave that checked. Flat fee, the difference between flat fee and advanced royalty. The only difference is that the flat fee does not include a royalty associated with it. These are generally for lower advances, the amount to be paid to you, with shorter terms and a print run along with the formats. So a flat fee could be, uh, the advance could be $1,000, the number of copies printed could be $1,500. Uh, the rights contract, if you have a agent that you're working with for this specific title, and, you're, and they're included in your PubMatch profile, you can select that literary agent uh, to receive all information on offers to the, the book. You'll then want to select the formats, all print, paperback, hardcover. Let's take all print as an example. The paperback and hardcover are grayed out. And normally, um, uh, most people will also include the ebook version along with the all print. This is mainly due because you don't want to sell the print version of your book to one publisher in that country and then offer the ebook rights to a different publisher. Uh, there could be some very uncomfortable competition in that country if your two are competing with each other. So we recommend just uh, including the ebook with the print versions. The duration is the term of the contract, be three years or less or more, and the contract country. This is the seller's contract country, so we're just going to select USA. Any additional information you could put in there, you could say audio rights available. You would save and close that. But before we do that, let's just go through the, uh, the type where if you want to offer an advance with a royalty. So here you're just going to add the royalty to the deal. Copy sold would be the same, 1500 You can change it up, whatever you like. Uh, royalty rate 2 and 3 are for subsequent contracts. You can leave them blank if you're just doing the one year. Amount to be paid, that's the advance. 
Uh, let's keep it at a thousand. Uh, no uh, agent is included. We're going to sell the all print and ebook rights for three years uh, from the U.S. We want to save and close. And we've just created the uh, Spanish language rights for your book for Spain only. You can always go back and edit it and change it up if you like. Uh, and just remember to save and close after each edit. Save and continue. This is where rights are not available. Here is where you, you've already sold the rights to a specific country or language. And it'll keep track of uh, who you sold it to, the, the, all the terms that you sold it uh, for, and when the expiration of the contract will happen. So let's just take uh, an example. Let's say you've sold the Albanian uh, rights already. Up will pop the screen, which you'll insert the company name, who you dealt with, their email, the phone number, all the information uh, that's uh, part of the contract. Indicate the formats that you sold, the length of the contract, the start date of the contract, the end date of the contract. And then you can select a reminder for when the contract is, is about to expire, let's say three months. Uh, prior, you'll get an email saying the, the, the deal is about to expire. You can also include a royalty report. So if you're getting royalty payments every quarter, you can indicate the date you received it, the amount paid, and then add more royalty for uh, uh, for subsequent payments. Any additional information that you feel is necessary about that, that buyer is there. You save and close. One of the most popular features on PubMatch is our catalog generation tool. Members can now create a rights catalog in just a few clicks and the file will be saved in both PDF and HTML formats simultaneously. Shortly, we will also offer a sell sheet option for single titles with several format templates to choose from. This will be available in a few weeks. Let me now show you how easy, easy it is to create a rights catalog and the advantages of the HTML version. First, want to go to Title Management, click on Rights Catalogs, and that'll take you to the page where you'll create your rights catalogs. Click on Add New Rights Catalog. Let's call a catalog name uh, Testing123. The description can be anything that you would like it to be. And uh, you can upload an image uh, for the catalog if you'd like. Uh, if you don't upload an image, the logo that you uploaded during the registration process will appear at, by default. Next thing you'll want to do is select your titles. I'll select four, the first four here, and save and continue. Here you'll see the catalogs, the titles of the, in the catalog that we're putting in. You can move them around in any order that you like. Uh, and then you'll also want to select the content that you'll want to appear in the catalog. For simpli simplicity purposes, I'll just select all the content that I put in, save and continue. Uh, if you want a catalog header, you can include an image that will go into the catalog header. I won't do that for, for time purposes. I don't have a, a catalog header to include. You can show this catalog on your uh, front end, on your PubMatch profile. Uh, you can select the template of either one title or two titles per page. We'll just do one title for now. You can preview it, or you can just save and continue. We've just created that test catalog. Let me show you the HTML version. You can see our lo PubMatch logo is in there. If you uh, had uploaded something else, your logo or some other image would have been there. You could have uploaded a header image as well if you had something that you wanted to put in there along with the description of the title. Here you'll see all the titles formatted. This is the HTML version as I mentioned. 
And all of them, all of these titles are hot linked back to PubMatch. This is what uh, the front end looks like on the, uh, the title page of uh, your profile. And all the information is there about the author, reviews, and so forth. If the person is interested in buying the rights, and if you've made them available, let's say that they want to buy the Arabic rights, they buy the rights, they accept the terms and conditions, and they can either buy now or make me an offer. I can't do that because I can't buy my own rights, but if they make an offer, these terms will come up in fields that are editable, and the buyer will uh, counter with the uh, copy sold, uh, the duration, uh, the advance price, whatever it is that they want to counter with. They then send that back to you and you'll receive an email with that counter. Uh, you'll then be able to counter again or accept that offer. So that's how easy it is to sell rights on PubMatch. Thank you for watching. You are now equipped with the tools to begin your rights journey using PubMatch, a fully automated rights platform that affords you the ability to create your own author publisher profile complete with titles, to make rights offerings by country and language, and to negotiate with ease. You are also now familiar with the anatomy of a rights deal and can create rights contracts using the built-in contract feature. You can also generate your own catalog and individual sell sheets for your titles with a variety of formats. This will be available in the near future. Using PubMatch, we're confident you'll benefit from the discoverability to global audiences, including potential licensees and readerships, and from the ability and convenience of managing your rights, offers, as well as those already sold. And this is just the beginning. For all questions related to PubMatch, please email us at info at pubmatch.com or contact Ryan Dreyer, ryan at pubmatch.com or John Malinowski at john at pubmatch.com. If you're interested in book fair prep and a rights orientation for beginners, please contact us for more information. Thank you again.